All right, so here is the cat mint slash catnip flower. And I apologize for my lack of equipment here. Sorry, it's shaky and stuff. Um, I'm trying to get as close as I can to the flower with it still focusing. So I'm gonna use this grass blade here to point. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> here's the upper lobe and the upper lip, I mean. And it's got two lobes on there. And the bottom lip is this whole portion here. And it's got one, two, three lobes. Um, and the color is always basically going to look like this, like whitish with some pink or purple markings. Um, and again, this is typical of the mint family to have these uh, irregular flowers with a divided lips and each of the lips are lobed. Um, and another typical thing, let's see if I can get it to focus. So these are called sepals. Um, I'm just gonna point with my finger. Uh, these green, they're actually uh, modified leaves and they're sepals. They're five sepals that are fused together to form a star-like pattern that is very much characteristic of the mint family. And uh, so those details are really helpful to know, especially when you're first starting out and trying to identify with plants, uh, trying to identify plants. Um, but with time, you're just going to be able to look at it from, you know, 20, 30 feet away and say, hey, that's catnip. Uh, you're not going to need to, you know, get out your magnifying glass and count the number of lobes or the number of <laughs> sepals or anything. Um, not saying it's not a worthy practice. Uh, if you're a plant nerd like me, you're going to enjoy doing that kind of thing. Um, but it's not always necessary for identification.